the pain of regret or the pain of discipline. I'm going to be completely honest here. <clears throat> I believe so many people tend to indulge in instant gratification activities because they don't understand what it means to live a life to the fullest. A lot of people are trying to escape from reality to numb their pain. But in reality, that's not going to help out. And the only way to improve your lifestyle is to put in the work. There's no other way around it. So whether you're going through something right now, whether you're depressed, whether you're anxious, whether you're overthinking, whether you feel like nothing's going to work out, you got to understand that if you don't put in the work, nothing's definitely going to not work out. You have to put in the work. You have to take time and be patient with the goals because none of that is going to get achieved in a day unless if it's a simple goal. Otherwise, if it's a crazy goal of yours, it's going to take years, months, even a decade. So you got to understand, like, what are you striving for? You don't want to have the pain of regret, right? You'd rather have the pain of discipline. You'd rather be disciplined to achieve the lifestyle you want. I think too many people think about what can, what they could do right now to have fun. But in reality, if you're willing to delay gratification as much as you can, of course you're going to achieve goals. Here's this little story about myself. So I've been trying to find a job on the side. I've been job hunting for about five months and now more offers are coming to me. I literally got another email saying, hey, we would like to schedule a video call with you. And I probably got about four offers this month. Sure, it's not the best offers, but hey, a job is a job. I think too many people always feel like, hey, I don't want to work a job no more. I get it. But in today's economy, listen, if you make that choice, you're being an idiot. I'm going to be completely honest. If you want to be a, a responsible adult, you have to pick up a job unless if you're making lots of money from your business. Remember that. Or if you have a lot of money saved up, then that's okay. But you got to understand that a lot of the times, the majority of these people don't have any income coming in, don't have any money saved in, saved up. So of course, you have to work a job. Even if it's for a season, you're working part-time, that's still good enough. You got to understand that. Everyone needs to work towards their goals. Stop trying to run away from reality. I think everyone's trying to chase the dreams, which is all right. But in reality, majority of people who are chasing the dreams aren't really doing that much to move the needle in their life. So you got to associate what you truly want. You got to make a list of things that wait are non-negotiables each day. For example, a couple of your non-negotiables could be hitting the gym, meditating, journaling, creating a content piece for a, for a long form content piece for YouTube, a short form content piece for all your other social media platforms. Another one could be learning a high income skill. It could be copywriting. It could be, I don't know what other high income skills there are. There's a bunch, but I just can't name them at the moment. But you got to understand, there's a lot of resources out there. We're all able to access these resources. So there's no excuse. If you're trying to go through the corporate world, you got to understand, you should strive to hit your degree. You should strive to complete it. Associates is all right. But if you truly want to tap into the corporate world with a higher amount of salary, of course, you need to tap into the degree, right? You have to accomplish that. You have to get it. That's a non-negotiable for you, right? So what you got to understand is you have to align yourself with your highest version. What does your highest version want? In reality, he wants a nice lifestyle, right? But what does a nice lifestyle look to you? You got to understand what does he want in his best lifestyle, his dream lifestyle? What does he own? What traits does he have? Who is he dating? Who is he married to? etc etc <clears throat> and then you gotta work towards it none of this comes easy of course everyone needs to work at their own pace don't rush just focus on implementing new strategies 
working on it every single day to achieving your goals. Just remember, like the pain of discipline is 10 times better than the pain of regret. Because after 30 years to 50 years, when you're about to get, you know, when you're about to be retired, you're gonna be like, dang, I wish I did this. I wish I did that. Or telling your own grandkids, dang, you know, you guys gotta chase your dreams. I couldn't chase my dreams because I was a loser. In reality, you can just start right now. It doesn't hurt to start right now. We live in one of the best eras ever. Everything so everything is actually accessible to us. So what are you waiting for? Whether it's you're trying to finish up your school, well, be consistent. That's the goal, right? Be consistent with that. Don't cry about it. Whether if you want to build a business, of course it's going to be tough. Anything in life is going to be tough. Don't cry about it. Work on it. You know, for business, right? If you're starting a business, you're not going to see income coming in in the first couple of months or even a year or two. And that's perfectly fine if you're choosing that pathway. You got to understand. So you rather choose the pain of discipline because that will lead you to greater opportunities and greater achievements. Just remember to take it easy and everything will be fine.